Holy moly, it's been a week, everybody. It's just been one of those weeks where, you know, you have still have stuff to do and you're like, I just need to open some things, crack some packs. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. This already looks like it was slightly opened. So we're going to see what we purchased here. I think these are, oh, ooh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, that's nowhere near me, so I will not be going there. Um, I think this is my last order off of TCG Player. Yes, it is. What did we get? Limited resources. Ooh. Does she have limited resources? Look at that. Look at that belly button. Um, when limited resources comes into play, each player chooses five lands here. She controls and sacrifices the rest. As long as there are ten or more lands in play, players cannot play lands. Oh, that's going to be so fun in my mono white deck. Oh my gosh. Um, I plan on bringing brought back Nyx Field, Nyx Lotus, um, Lotus Veil. Basically all the lands that sack my lands, and I'm going to get like three mana for each time I tap them. That's what I'm going to do with my mono white, um, tax deck. Oh, and then we got uh, just five Xenic Poltergeist. So, old school magic. Tap to turn target non-creature artifact into an artifact creature with both power and toughness equal to its casting cost. This transformation lasts until your next upkeep. Target retains all its original abilities as well. So this is a three, um, one, one. This is for old school. And what might I turn into you know, something to go attack. Well, something like, you know, maybe a mirror universe at six, six casting cost. So I don't know. I've been kind of brewing, thinking about what I'm going to do. And um, so that's my old school pickup in that package. And let's move on to the next one. Uh, this is going to take me Probably, well, those are the cards down there, so, hey Let's see here. Oh, my goodness. Um, this was a Facebook auction, so let's see. I actually don't even know what I won since I had to, like, keep getting up and moving uh, to go check my... I uh, paid $39 plus shipping and handling because I had to keep getting up and checking out my son. So I don't know <laughs> at the end of it. I was like, did I win anything? Like, yeah, you won three auctions. So um, my goal here was purely to make money. I'm going to be honest. This was not for like cards I wanted. There was some, some auctions that I bid on uh, for cards that I wanted. Um, but sadly, I did not get those. It was like Ashiok, uh, some of the new Ashiok's ones, and people were just like, nope, I want that, and paid, like, above market price. And I was like, eh, no thank you. All right, so let's see if I can actually get these out of this package. Oh, my gosh. I must say, it is packaged well. Let's see here. We're going to go. Always bring a knife to a card fight. That's what I gotta say about that. Actually, don't. Don't always bring a knife to a card fight. Um, that is a joke. I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, here we go. So we got Thunderfoot, Baloth, Sylvan Offering, Terastodon, Worldly Tutor, Sylvan, another Sylvan Offering, and a Nile Keen Eyed. Sorry if that was not all in there. Um, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six. Oh, oh, we did win it. Oh my gosh, we did win that one. Okay, we got six blue foil islands. Those are all for sale. And regular islands, one, two, three, four, five. Those are all for sale. That's the one I really wanted, Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Love it. Um, it is actually non-foil, which is very interesting. Oh, it's light plate already. Oh no. Um... I actually kind of like, I mean, the foil looks epic, but the non-foil, I feel like you can see the art more. We got a Temple of Deceit and a Nightmare Shepherd, which is going into my mono black steel things. Maybe it's going to my mono black. I don't know, but it's going to go steal other people's stuff and then exile their things. And I'm going to get a copy of it. So that's going to be fun. So we paid a total of 
I believe $43 for this with shipping and handling. And that's the car. These are the two cards I really want to keep. So everything else here um, is for sale, especially those foil islands. Because I'm not going to have enough of those. All right. Now, on to the fun thing. I had to trick my wife today. We were all going to... Well, she's going wine tasting. I was supposed to go, but I got a sick child at home. So I made a uh, purchase. Ugh, none of the stuff. None of the ones I, I was hoping for, like an old old one. So I got this at Rite Aid. But um, I had to make a drop-off, and I told her I was make, I was getting magic uh, from a Craigslist deal. I was actually buying her her uh, Valentine's Day gift. So that is... <sighs> Your warning, guys. Valentine's Day is this Friday. Don't forget. Don't be that guy. So anyways, uh, I ran in there and bought this to pretend like this is what I bought. But I did buy her uh, her birthday gift, which is part one digital photo frame for her office. When she goes back to work, she is going to miss our child. So it is a bunch of photos of our small child. Uh, hopefully we'll grow up to be like this worm or this behemoth or not return to nature or this prismite, you know, giant growth, Domri's ambush, bond of insight, Samut is our uh, planeswalker, and we got a widespread brutality with no, nothing there. All right, let's do, that's 2019. All right, we need a foil. What? Is it Mythic or Bust, or is it, uh, yeah, Mythic or Bust. So we need a foil, um, Crucible of Worlds. There we go, Divination. That's actually a pretty cool art there. Look at that. It's like, the stars make your destiny, maybe accept the fate thus divulge. It's like, um, maybe this was their, like, art that's like, we're returning to Theros. Wouldn't that be crazy? All right. As you can see, I feel a lot better, guys. I was... This week I was sick. I was puking my guts out. I was doing the other thing. I got lice all in my eyeballs, so I had to go to, like to the emergency room. Cleaning toilets is hard. Um, and here we go. Shoot, uh, Lena, selfless champion, with a foil frilled sea serpent and a pretty plains. Um, so what do you do? You're so selfless. You enter the battlefield. You create a one-one white soldier creature token for each non-token creature control sacrificer and creatures you control with power less than lena's power gain indestructible until end of turn okay those who do evil and those who do nothing are equally worthy of contempt mm -hmm. righty there and now we have an elephant that's right i said elephant all right, Titanic Bra, Azorius Knight, Arbiter. That was so fun in Limited. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to pump this guy up and smash you and you can't block him. Grasping Thrall, Skitter Eel, Zertar Goblin, Arcway Angel. Mockery. They like stabbing that guy. That poor guy has like swords in his back. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, and our rare is uh, Repudiate to replicate i have so many of those let's talk about it underplayed counter target activated or triggered ability i thought this was going to be something because yeah we did have tails end but if they don't play planeswalkers and you're in a creature deck you could create a token that's a copy of target creature control pretty neato in my opinion I like versatile cards. I think that's might be a little underplayed. I kind of mess around with people in it in in the thing. They're like, I'm gonna activate my Liliana thing and win the game, and I'm like, e yeah, no. So, um, all right, guys. Well, I hope everybody remembers Valentine's Day. Don't forget that happy wife or girlfriend equals happy life, everybody. And uh, everybody have a great week, and don't be a noob like me.